In a previous video I showed you how to restore the Minix Neo X8 to its original factory stock settings which was Android KitKat 4.4.2. Now in this video I'm going to see if we can get it up to Lollipop 5.1.1. Now if you've not done this before you're going to need the Amlogic USB burning tool, the link is below, so download that and install it, and you'll also need the firmware 5.1.1, again the link is below, download that and put it to a temporary folder, it should be an ISO image file. Next you do then is you go to the USB burning tool icon, right click and then run as administrator, left click. Let's hit there. What we do then is we go find our temporary folder and import the image. So what we need to do then is find it. It's it. There it is there. Now I found two: uh, the Minix X8H finless and the MX111. The MX will give you a UI similar to the MX Android boxes, but this is a Minix, so we're going to use the Minix one. Open that. What I do then, it'll set itself up on the on the bottom here with the USB C connected to the Minix and the USB connected to your laptop. There's a little hole at the back next to the HDMI, and that's your reset. So, with a pin, just locate the hole at the back, and when you press it, you'll hear a little or feel a little press, and are on the Minix and you'll see it comes up there connect success. Now if you're doing this for the first time the World Cup driver will automatically install itself. I'm using Windows 7 so it will find it immediately. If you're using Windows 10 it might take a little bit longer. Now we're ready to load in the new one. So this is the new one down here. Just press start and it'll go ahead this may take several minutes, so I'll just speed this up. There we have it. 100% burning successfully. Next, remove the USB from your laptop. Do not press the stop button. And I forgot to mention earlier, don't unclick or click any of these here. So pull the USB out and then press stop. We can shut that down and then power down your Minix box. With your HDMI plugged back in and plugged into your screen, switch on the Minix box. And this screen here will come up. Again, it may take a bit of time to load, so I'm going to speed this up. Right, looking good. So we'll just select Minix Metro. As always. And we have a Minix up and running again. Now let's go check here. Over to about. Now it's recognizing it as a Minix Neo X8H. The only difference between the 8 and the A8H is 8 gig of flash memory. Let's just go down there. And there you have it. We now have version 5.1.1 Lollipop. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give us a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, like, share and subscribe. And you can find us on other social media platforms.